everybody, welcome to my read journal reading video. Today I'm going to share with you um, five journals that are from today's date of December 4th from the years of 07 to 2014 and all the years in between. Um, let's see, it's, yeah, from 2007, 2011, 2012, 13, and 14. Those are the journal, um, these are the journals that I have found from my 35 journals and um, there's like one more journal that I had from like last year but it's um, it's not super upbeat, it's um, a little too close to the present and I kind of just want to share the things from like the earlier, my earlier journey journaling years to like um, the like the last few years of like high school and stuff those are kind of like the journals I like to share so without further ado let's start with the earliest which um, is this little journal right here it's got the pretty full purple flower it's a very short journal entry it's just one page long and it goes like this dear diary 12407 hey I just put in my earrings, which I haven't done in a long time, period. Anyway, today Brianna, Sonia, Marina have been keeping on, keeping an eye on me. So, um, just for the background for a second, I was in 7th grade, I believe, and um, uh, I was pretty close friends to these girls in my class. We had a class of 20 kids in my private school that I went to, and um, in this like phase of my life, um, me and the girls were kind of like having a battle between the guys because there was like a, there was like a certain amount of guys, a certain amount of girls, like ten to ten ratio. Um, so it worked out really cool, but everyone was crushing on each other, and it was just a big kerfuffle. And so you'll see in here that I said. Um, Anyway, today Brianna, Sonia, and Marina have been keeping an eye on me. Every time I start talking to Robbie, they would look at me as though I was telling him that Sonia liked him. It was ridiculous. Oh, and speaking about ridiculous, Nathan got sent out of class and and so he went home. His mom is probably really hella pissed at him right now. I've been saying hella since 7th grade and now I'm like... What? Senior in college? Jeez. Anyway, I'm bored and I still like Mateo, Robbie, and Mateo and Robbie. And Robbie likes me. I don't think Mateo likes me at all. Brianna and Marina told Sonia that Mateo likes her. That made me hella piss. I think I'm starting to like Galen. I like his sensitivity side. He likes poking me also, but I think Robbie tickles me the best. Well, gotta go. Bye. Sincerely, Madeline. Yeah, the whole tickle me best part, that could, you know, sound really weird. But trust me, it was just like... We were just literally poking each other with our fingers because it made us go and stuff like that. So I'm definitely over that phase. I don't get, I don't do that anymore. <laughs> also, speaking of phases, when I was little and I had a crush on a guy, I would chase them and spank their butts all the time. Very interesting. <laughs> that was a very interesting phase of mine. This was like in first to second grade or maybe even third grade. But I remember chasing my cute classmates around, my cute guy classmates, and so anyways, let's jump a few years ahead to 2011. Dear Diary, Sunday, December 4th, 2011. Hey, I'm really irritated today. Totally. For some reason, unsatisfied with most of today. Today was alright, and it's not ever, it's not even over. So hopefully I'll be more accepting. Anyway, Alice and I hung out, and we had a good time, except for the fact that Sophie Lopez found us and would not stop talking or being weird. Ugh. I mean, it wasn't that bad. Ugh. Marlo won't STFU. And I can't find the reason behind my irritation. Oh, and I can't find my iPod. Jeez. I'm really frustrated. Nothing is helping, and I really don't even know why. I'm so Fleming irritated. Maybe. No. IDK. Maybe just talking it out would just would help. Just say what's on my mind. It's just you and I anyway. 
I like this pen, lol. Tonight is the tree lighting and I don't even feel ready for it. I'm grumpy and... Derek Santos. Allison and I saw him drive by. He stopped and we said hi to him. Allison and Derek had a small convo. While I just stood there, he looked at me twice, like as if he was longing for a hug from me. <gasps> I think that's slightly cool. I wonder if he likes me. I'm not sure. I don't want to just assume that, lol. Anyway, I texted Mead Sal. This Mead was like a, a dude that I was in a long distance relationship as well, but it didn't last very long. We met in Idaho at like a church thing. And we kept in contact for a little while, and then we lost contact, and no no hurt feelings at all. Anyway, I texted Mead's cell, and he told me that he was at work, so I eventually just told him that he should text me later. He doesn't want to get in trouble anyway. That's understandable. Dang, I don't want to come off as grumpy and mean, but there really is something in me that is trying to come out. It's that knot of anger that will forever leave me, that will forever leave me once I let it out. Hopefully Jane will help me get it out soon. Jane was like a, an emotional kind of, kind of like a therapist, but like a physical therapist, and it would like let out emotions. I'm not really sure how it worked, but it didn't really work. Hopefully, uh, I read that part. Maybe I should just get it out myself. Don't hang around people you don't want to hang around. Don't do things you don't want to do. And don't leave people on. <laughs> I did all three of those today, so that's probably why I'm so phlegm and irritated. But notice, my legs aren't fidgety. Yay! LOL. BRB. I want some more Spen of Spencer's really good smelling cologne that he left in the kitchen for some reason. Dude, that stuff smells amazing. LMAO. Okay, well, it's 4.40 p.m. and in order for me to send Mead's note and be at school by 5.30 p.m., I need to get ready now. So I need to make an envelope and put his note slash letter in it and then take care of myself and take the whole crew, all four of us hatchlings, to the tree lighting place. So, BRB! Oh yeah! And my mom was gone all day today and yesterday at the transformational gate place in San Fran, so I didn't have to do as much cleaning or work as usually as usually as I usually would do. Then I have school tomorrow. Meh. I'm totally not ready. I'm home wise nor homework wise. Oh well, I'll find some I'll find some way to work through all this. It'll be okay. And life shouldn't be such a hassle or planned, you know? If I were to make out with someone tonight that would that could help. Anyway, BRB. I'm gonna send Mead's letter tomorrow in the morning. I'll ride my bike in the morning. Good idea. BRB, it's five oh nine PM. So I was excited, I was emotional, I was feeling some anger that I really just, nowadays I just know when I feel angry to just sort of let it go. There's nothing actually in me that's like boiling, you know. It's more of just like, so I feel some feelings of anger, don't make anything of it and just let it go. And um, that has helped a lot. But, you know, you can't really fix teenager stuff. It just happens and I happen to have written it down, so... That was that. Next I have this big massive journal. You know what? I'm gonna check if this is actually going. Okay, thank goodness. If this had been going and I was not actually recording, I just would have been so bummed. Okay, so this reads Dear Diary Tuesday. December fourth. Wait, was this Tuesday too? No, that was Sunday, and I don't know what that one was. But anyways. December fourth, two thousand twelve. Today has been good so far, for the most part. I feel like because I'm ignoring others, others are ignoring me. Well, I'd rather have that than have people constantly talking about me or talking to me. Anyway, Trevor texted me at like midnight last night saying goodnight, sweet dreams. I don't know what to say. Okay, obviously, if you've been with me for a while reading these journal reading videos, you'll know that I am, I was. It was very boy crazy. Just everybody that I had a crush on, it just, everybody was my crush all the time. I was just going between guys. And I never, like, really expressed these things. I never really, like, did anything with these guys. I just had a crush on them, and I would just write about it all the time. And so, throughout my journals, I just, I seemed very boy crazy, but I never actually interacted that much with these guys. I might have dated them. I might have talk to them, I might have had interest, and they might have had 
interest in me too, but never really went, went that far, and I'm grateful for that. So, um, so this is just another one of those crushes that I had. I don't know what to say. LOL. Maybe I'll just send a heart. He'll probably get what I'm trying to say. I'm always so worried about whether things will go well or not. I, my hangout with Trevor was nice. I didn't care about the bad things that would happen. I'm becoming a master at keeping things on a down low. Keeping mom from freaking out, you know? All of a sudden, I'm reminding myself of Spencer. He's really good at keeping people and mom from freaking out. So I guess we both have a good habit. And every day, I feel like whatever happens throughout the day is then implanted in a comic scene writ in a comic scene, written on a newspaper or engraved on stone. That's how I see it. Oh yeah, last night I had an idea to draw romantic scenes about Trevor and I. Oh lord. <laughs> to get everything out of my system so that I can see him all week on paper and then actually see him in person over the weekend. I never actually did that. Yay! Sounds like a good time to me. I really am not liking when Mr. Colombo puts me on the spot. I was in like first... Oh wait, no. This is my first period class. My senior year was my economics class. And um, just the way the classroom was set up, like there was front row, front row, and then a front row. Everyone was facing the teacher right here. So everyone was just facing each other. And I had people in that class who I personally would not have liked to have sit face to face practically. And, and yet I had to sit there the whole semester and just kind of like keep my head down the whole time because I was not willing to make things more awkward than they already were. So. Good on me, shame on them, whatever. Um, when he puts me in an example, it doesn't give perspective, it just makes things slightly more awkward between me and my other classmates. Anyway, I'm super tired and I'm hoping, hoping that me keeping my cool and not stepping on people's toes will get me more freedom. I've tried these last three years to be friends with everyone. I've got my... I've got my three best friends, Melissa, Shelby, and David. But what should I do about this first period? I want to just not trip about it. No worries, but I don't want to be so chill that people think they can use me. The cool thing about first period is I can sit here in my seat and write all period without being without being told to put my journal away. Um, and then like just reading over this previously, like I realized like how much, um, how much like how East Bay area in this like whole area is like like a lot of schools public schools especially are just so ugh, like I hate the vibe of, of public schools I loved the private school that I went to it's just so much more calm more more at peace and and I don't know I just liked it better so anyways fourth period only didn't oh fourth period was my English class and we had vocab quizzes every Friday, I think. Oh, that says Tuesday, but I thought it was every Friday. Anyways, or maybe it's Monday. I don't know, but, um, so we had, like, 15 questions. We had, like, 15, um, vocabs every week, and I was always, like, acing those things all the time, like, every week. Even if I studied five minutes before, I aced all of it. And so I would record, like, only didn't fill in one question on the English vocab quiz but like still proud or whatever and so yeah that was really cool I'm home now Melissa and I walked the bridge today I still want I still want and have the urge to talk to Trevor I, I honestly don't think I like him I think I just like the idea of us studies show that whoever you like is usually the person you're gonna date and be together with forever and he and I look quite similar dirty blonde big eyes although he has brown colored eyes same height I think I just need to do myself a favor and let out all my creeper out. Draw pictures from his Facebook like I did with me. To write him letters, but don't give them to him, obviously. And BRB, 6.40 p.m. And that's that entry for that journal. So what I have to say about that phase is just like, man, ugh. It's just cringy. I don't know how... I guess I was angry because I just sort of knew better than to do all this crap. And I was just angry, but I was, like, still doing it. And so I'm much happier now that I don't put myself through all that crap. And I actually have, like, a stable boyfriend who likes me and wants to be with me forever. And I feel the same way about him. And it, like, 
just getting rid of those things has really, like, that actually might be him calling right now. Just getting rid of those extra things has just made life so much easier. So I hope that if you're ever, you know, looking up to me and you're feeling like, man, like, life's just so complicated, just get rid of a bunch of excess stuff that makes you unhappy and you'll find your happiness there. So, next entry says, and this is from my big brown journal. It says, Dear Diary, Wednesday, December 4th, 2013, 12, 10 a.m. I'm quite tired, although I still managed to go for a run this morning. It felt great. I keep thinking about how I'm not able to type the essay for today's history class. Wait. Again, that feeling of so little time and yet so much to do overwhelms me. Still does sometimes. Um, just remember that all is well. Take a deep breath and do what you can. Yeah, that's definitely my boyfriend calling me. I gotta finish a video. This morning I woke up at 5.30 because my alarm went off, but then I fell back asleep after I said to myself, it's so much easier going back to sleep than getting up. See? Z, Z, Zs. LOL. Then two hours later at 7, I woke up and got out of bed. Marlo is still sleeping as if there's no ever waking up. I climbed downstairs from my loft. I forgot what I did after that, but eventually I went pee and went for a run before Marlo and Tegan left for school. Miss Myers has been picking up Mar M and T every morning so that Mom doesn't have to, but I feel bad because they take forever to get ready and out of the house. I get ready really quickly. 12.22 p.m. now. History class starts in 8 minutes. BRB. 5.49 p.m. Colby is going to pick me up around 6.30 p.m. and then we'll be going to Sky High. Other people are going to show up to join, so I hope that goes well. BRB. 6.01 p.m. Yeah, there's a lot of feelings in that, or, you know, right now, the whole, like, you know, you know, sleeping in is so much fun, and then you sleep for another two hours, and, you, you know, you feel great. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna leave that alone. Alright, so last but not least is my flower journal. It says, Dear Diary, Thursday, November 4th, 2014. Cody's here! I slept over at Cody's house, and this is my current boyfriend, and we snuggled all night long. Poor thing was so sleepy once he got here, but he was so patient and loving. I love that about him. Anyways, it's 9.28 a.m. and I am ready for my math test. Yeah! This morning, Mom called me at 5 a.m. to make sure I was safe, and she was bur and she barraged me with guilt trips because she didn't- she doesn't like that I slept over. She didn't like that I slept over, but we're making up for the times we haven't been together. But I'm gonna keep a good balance and not over and not be over at his mom's 24/7. Gotta give them all some time to be together as a family. And then on that day, we went skating, and that was his, and this was mine, I believe. Yeah. And so we both got stickers. We went ice skating in like Concord or something. And we got like the four hour pass, but we only were there for like two hours and we had a blast. And yeah, so those are my journals for December 4th from my years past. Um, I hope you liked the video. I ask any questions if you have any. And I will sure to have some more in a week or two. I like to just make them periodically. I don't like to read them all the time or every day. It's a little... It's a little much. <laughs> like to keep the balance of other stuff. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, like and subscribe if you would like to see some more or some other things that um, that I do that you would like to see. Um, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.